Hi all and welcome back to my very first ongoing let's play of the very first Siberia game GOG version modded and all that good stuff. We are still in Comcolsgrad and we are about to uh, wake up a drunk. Yeah. But before we do that, I just wanted to mention that if you like the channel or this video series, I would love it if you clicked on those like and sub buttons. Thank you. All right, so let's see. Can we... Can we do anything here? I need a key. Yeah. Uh, we do have one now. Where do we put it? Okay, that did something. Okay, so I don't think we have everything we need. Let's see if we can take a closer look at him. interact with him at all. He is passed out. Oh, what's this? We cannot do that again, so what did that do? It sounded like water. That big pie past them. I think I know what's gonna happen now. Hey, what's happening? This water you got there, stop it! Now! You want me to drown? I mean. Maybe we can talk to him now. And we also don't need to tell him that we already got some of his stuff. Calm down, it's all right. Just a little wake-up call, that's all. You must have had quite a bit to drink. Gee. You right there. Not the first time either. Probably won't be the last. Man, my head. Please, could you whisper? Please, do excuse me. But it was the only way I could think of to bring you back to your senses. A little extreme, maybe. But I get the impression you're a lady who likes to see results. My name is Kate Walker. I'm a lawyer, currently in charge of a special case. I'll spare you the details, but I've landed here, you see, unintentionally. It is indeed an honor to welcome you here to the Cosmodrome, ma'am. My name is Colonel Boris Sharoff. I'm a Red Army test pilot regent. Now I babysit the Kumkalsgrad space complex. This is an amazing complex. Shame it's a little run down. What do you expect? 
Space race is yesterday's news. That's the way it is. News one minute, history the next. I kind of like that he calls himself a reject. Yeah. I came here by train, but unfortunately it broke down. I've got to get to Arrowbad immediately. Someone told me you might have a vehicle to lend me. Someone? Who might that someone be? I hope you're not talking about Sergei Borodin. Well, yes, I am. The director of the industrial complex below. Be careful, ma'am. He is not a rational man. He can be mean and very dangerous. He suggested I come and see you, actually. But I get the impression that he doesn't care much for you either. I don't care what he thinks of me. All I say to you is, watch out for him. I kinda agree with the drunken gentleman here. There aren't many vehicles on this base. When they decided to close the Cosmodrome, they towed all the useful equipment away. It doesn't matter. I'll find some other way. If I can help you, please, just ask. I'm looking for someone. Hans Varlberg. And I think he came by here about 20 years ago. Hans? You want to know if I know Hans? But of course. He invented one of the most incredible flying machines of the Cosmodrome. Christmas, good old Hans. Even after that dumb and dirty trick he played on me. But I wouldn't give to see him again. What do you mean? What did he do to you? Hans Varlberg and his famous flying wing. See, he invented this kind of spring-loaded launcher, capable of projecting a weird rocket into the stratosphere. It was red revolutionary hot, and I was going to be its first test pilot. Holy cow, what a job. And then several days before the launch, Hans disappears into thin air like that, poof. The test program, well, it's abandoned just disappeared like that? Without saying where he was going? You see, he wanted to hit the stars, but not bombs, if you get my drift. One day, Hans finally worked out what his launcher was really for. It's the generals have always called the shots here, you realize, and, and when they asked Hans to screw a nuclear warhead onto his flying wing, well, he wasn't a happy man. So he left, just like that. If everything was ready, why didn't you just wind the thing up and go flying after all? Nobody understood machines here like Hans, especially not his own utopian inventions. You see, such inventions only live and breathe with their creator in the saddle. Without him, space travel became damn near impossible. But since then, well, I still like to travel, but in my own little way. I'm beginning to understand a bit about how Hans Vorlberg's inventions work. What is this one like? I don't really know. As you can see, I'm a soldier, ma'am. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm not a goddamn aerospace engineer. I kind of like this guy now that he's sober. A little bit tragic, to be fair. I've left my train in the Comkalsgrad station. Do you think it'll get in the way? If I were you, I'd get out of there as quick as possible. That's exactly what I intend to do, as soon as the director gives me back my automaton's hands. That's why I want to go to Arrowbad. So go, and go quickly, and get back what belongs to you. With a man like that, you never know what might happen. You don't like him very much, then. I'll confess that since his accident, he's gone a little doolally. These days, I stay clear of him, and you should do the same. I don't really have the choice. Unfortunately, that's how that is. Don't you find it strange to see so many birds in the Cosmodrome? It's the Iron Rafters. They love them. And nowadays, they can enjoy a bit of good old peace and quiet here. So, of course, they turn up in flock loads. <laughs> Sometimes I said Soyuz onto them. <laughs> Just like the good old days. Soyuz? Soyuz is the last Golden Eagle left in active service. We had to get the dumb canaries out of the way before takeoff, so what did we do? Set the eagle on them, and you should see them fly. Soyuz, he's like a cat among the pigeons. Magnificent. Sounds pretty cool. Does Arrowbad mean anything to you? 
Arrowbad. It's been a long time since I heard that name. It's a spa resort, ma'am. Top brass of the regime would go there. As well as convalescing soldiers, tired politicians, profiteers and racketers, the whole caboodle. They'd go live it up, all expenses paid. One privilege I never got. Just two steps away from becoming the nation's hero and no free holiday for me. And where exactly is this place? Further east. We never had to know where exactly. The airship was programmed to take vacationers there. From here. I see. Thank you so much for helping me. I'm sorry to have woken you up like that. It's been great talking to you, ma'am. I think I'll take 40 winks right now. Fair enough. Okay, so... Let's continue. Oh, wow. This is pretty cool. Uh, well, I think that's maybe the rocket. Let's go to the right first. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of birds. And yeah, I think that's the way to go. Rude birds everywhere. This doesn't exactly look in good order. Nice. Kind of looks like a zeppelin or something. I need a key. Yeah, we have heard that one once or twice already. Nothing more here, I think. No, okay, that's definitely back to the stairs. What do we have on this side then? another cylinder like the one he lived in I think can't go further down so okay the stairs it is all right so we got ourselves a control panel oh, this thing's jammed That's a key. I need a key. Yeah, uh, this one maybe? Centrifuge empty. Blood sample required. An authorized procedure. Okay, so we we uh, we need quite a few things uh, that we do not have. Oh, but now we could do that. If that's going to work. It looks like something's missing. Blood testing apparatus. Okay, so we need a blood sample and I'm guessing we need to talk to the colonel about some of that. I hope they don't have... Yeah, now we can see like the radar dishes operating. Very cool. I hope they don't have um, a drug and alcohol screening in that because, yeah, that's going to be a problem. Sir? Uh, sir? 
My head. Oh, my poor head. I need some quiet. Please, can I have some quiet? Okay, airship. Do you think the airship still works? No idea. It's been so long since it was used. And then I've got to learn how to use it, too. You won't have any worries there. It has an automatic pilot. Go visit if you want. Here's the key. Thanks. Oh, well, that was easy. Right, I'm off. See you later. Don't you worry about me. Keep back and go. I don't think we could ask him about a blood sample just yet, but maybe we will eventually. And we're back. Airship key. Hey, very nice. Well, kind of nice. I think, yeah, we got a lever here. Doesn't look like that works. Is that all we can do in here? Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't work. Which means we'll need to talk to the colonel again. Oh, he's not here anymore? See if he returned to I don't think I saw a bed though. He must have had one. Yeah, he did have one. Ah, oh, he's not here. Okay. Let's see if he uh See if he is in uh, the cosmodrome. There he is. Ah, uh, there you are. I was looking for you. I've managed to trigger the autopilot mechanism, but the airship still won't take off. Do you know why? Mm, maybe. I've got a, some idea. But you look like you're a pretty good mechanic. Let's just say that since the start of the journey, I've managed to get by and get to know Hans Varlberg's strange contraptions. Okay. I have a deal to make with you. I've been living in this dumb launcher site for years. And I've always said that one of these days I'm going to the stars on that flying wing. And I'd better make that trip before vodka stews my brain. But I gotta know how it works. And you look like you might have some clue at least. If you could help me get to the stars, I'll tell you how the airship works. What do you say? We got a deal? Hmm. Why not? I'll see what I can do for you. Okay, can we now talk to him about the blood sample? What are you tinkering with? Why is it taking so long? Just a bit longer, if you can. I'm doing my best. I'm sorry, I just couldn't wait. Put yourself in my shoes. I've been dreaming of this moment for so long. Let's see if we can. Comrade Boris, I need a few drops of your blood. Excuse me? To get the centrifuge going, we'll need to analyze the pilot's blood. If you're going to the stars, you've got to be in good health, you see? That's why I need a blood sample. 
it won't hurt. There's two things a good soldier is always ready to do. Drop his pants and spill his blood. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll only be needing your blood. My pleasure, ma'am. Okay, so now we have the blood. Let's go and see if that does something. level too high, of course it is. Blood sample required. Okay. Oh, I thought, okay. Why not? Okay, I think I figured out how it works. Get settled in and let's go. Colonel, are you all right? Never been better. It's spinning a bit, but I am used to that. I'm a professional pilot. Clear as smog. Can you speak up? I'm ready. Press the launch button. Takeoff procedure engaged. Countdown commencing. Colonel, you've forgotten to tell me the secret of the airship. What do I have to do? Is he ever coming back? To be fair though, maybe he... Uh, he didn't want to. At least he got to go into space. Or orbit. Ah, oh, there it is. It looks like a crank. And so it was. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's head inside. Uh... Just realizing, I don't think this is going to work. Doesn't look like that works. 
yeah. I just realized I don't think the crank is for this. I think it's for... doing something else. And we still haven't gotten rid of the birds. I think we need to find that golden eagle thing. And if it is a Hans Borlberg apparatus, then uh, maybe the crank is for that. Yep, we still haven't been up these stairs. That looks like not uh, an automaton. Doesn't look like that works. was a foghorn and also the skies are much more clear now I don't think we can do much more here So I just realized that there were perhaps one room down in the industrial city that we never went to. But I also think we'll be back here eventually. And yeah, maybe we'll go there then because I don't think we missed anything. No more birds, that's good. Fingers crossed. Well, we definitely landed, hopefully, in Arrowbad, but we'll save the exploration of this area for the next part. Thank you for watching me help a man get into space in this Siberia adventure. If you're enjoying it, I would love to hit those like and subscribe buttons. I would also love it if I saw you again in the next part. But for now, it is time to say bye bye.